Hi there, Jamie here. And we bought this yard 15, 16 years ago, and it was overgrown mess. And we have been working, fighting it ever since. It tries to take over no matter where we clear. And we've reclaimed some more areas last fall, I believe and made new beds without putting the weed fabric underneath because it's just too too much area to cover in too many places and um, so we struggle with weed pressure and I want to show you what I'm doing for dollar weed that makes it a little bit easier you know it's still a pain but it makes it a little bit easier to get most of it out and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all of it because as you might be able to tell I'm still recovering from being sick for a while and I'm gonna get out here and just do what I can sometimes we got to do a little bit at a time and y'all it's almost evening as well but I'm gonna do what I can because I've got some sweet potato slips that need a place to go and I think I'm gonna put them in my orchard that way they can kind of help be ground cover and grow my sweet potatoes all at the same time and help with help me with my weed pressure so let me know what you think about that and if you have any other ideas on how to keep some weed down weeds down let me know the thicker your mulch is the higher this stuff roots so instead of it rooting in the soil below it roots in through the mulch and it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to pull up the mats of these with your pitchfork and get all this out but it'll just run look at that instead of it being in soil let me back you up So if you've ever hand pulled this out of soil, you know that it breaks off a lot shorter than this, making this a nightmare. But doing it like this, it comes off in nice big clumps and then I can go dispose of it in the fiery gates of hell and make a lot quicker work of this. The thicker my mulch is, I'm finding the better it is. And I will have to continue to fight weed pressure out here because we chose not to use weed fabric but that's a choice we made we like to keep things a little bit cheaper even if it takes a little bit of extra labor especially in certain areas so I'll go through and do what I can you can see I pulled some up over there I mean it just comes up super easy and it is quite satisfying so I'll try to update you as I get this garden done I'll just go through with the pitchfork and go underneath and kind of shake it and get kind of a pile going So I'm sure you might hear sister in the back. She is doing her chicken chores. And she is just the best little chicken tender ever. If you haven't seen our chicken videos, please watch one of those after. And we have a goal to reach 300 subscribers right now. And if you want to help us, please hit subscribe or share this with somebody who might want to subscribe and follow along in our journey as well. But if you're here, you're probably fighting this horrible weed. And I just want to remind you to get as much of this plant out of the mulch or dirt as possible. Because any little part that is left in the ground, this plant will regrow. 
So plan on doing this a few times until you have gotten all of the plant out. This has been the absolute best way I have ever gotten rid of it. Saves my back, saves me time. You still have to fight it a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's a never-ending battle doing this way. Um, so yeah, the mulch is absolutely been incredible, much easier to get out of than my soil. All right, I'm going to take you in a little closer real quick. The sister's about to mope. So we got this big pile, and that is how clean of dollar weed it is at the moment. And just a couple of minutes worth of work. As you saw, it take, comes up in big old mats. So I'll just take all of this and dispose of it, and then it also helps because it won't disturb my soil underneath. Okay, so I've got bigger hopes than my body has energy for at the moment. So I'm going to cut myself some slack and just be happy with the little bit I did get done. And I'll show you what I got done. And I'm going to try to rest up some more. That way I don't really put myself out and miss a whole bunch of garden season. Because that would be horrible. But I'll show you what I did. And uh, if you have any tips or whatever, please let me know. Subscribe, like, all the good things. And... Here's what we got going on. That is a heck of a pile of dollar weed. So that can show you just how thick and densely these can cover. I only took it from here, through here, and through there. And I stopped about there. And of course underneath it. And I've already dumped one of these gallon planters and this is I don't know a foot and a half two foot tall of dollar weeds so no, they're quite invasive and annoying but if you do it like this they're quite simple to get rid of of course if you're not sick but I still have all of that that I'm gonna go through I might cut that tree out and I've got to dig my thornless blackberry out again which that's just the story of this yard. As you see, we have trees and stuff growing up. Again, all kinds of saplings come up super quick here. So that's about all I got going on for today. So this will be a short one. And I thank y'all for spending time with me, however much time it is. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And as you can hear, little bros mowing again. She absolutely loves mowing. I don't know where she gets it. Should we spy on her? Let's go spy on her, just real quick. Let me try to open this janky gate. That poor girl, she's got some hurt, but she's still out here mowing. She heard it needs to be mowed and she says, I'll do it. And y'all, get on there and tell Mr. Fix it to sort out that trailer. It's ugly. At Fix It Restore It. Oh, she saw us run! Another distraction. Look at how pretty. It's not quite out all the way. And this one doesn't have a tag. It's one of my Lowe's Crack Rack specials. The roots are going straight up. It's kind of crazy, but it's happy. I don't think this one's ever bloomed before, but look. That's going to have like five, six, seven blooms. And if you know the species of that, let me know. Species? Variety? Yeah, variety. Because this does not have a tag.